as everyone here is different, we're all kind of alike. We all come from a similar background. Just seeing that there are so many other kids in my situation with a learning difference really helped my confidence because I realized I wasn't alone. For me coming to Foreman, at first it was pretty stressful. I'd gone to a day school. I hadn't been away from home for such a long time before, but it was just such a welcoming community here. Teachers and your peers both helping you to really go out and do things and be the person you want to be. A new student came in to see me and he was really anxious about something, one of his classes, and we sat down and we talked about it. And then he just looked at me and he went, I just, I love it here. And I went, well, you've been here just three days. And I said, that's really great. And I said, why do you think that you love it here so much? And he said, because after my biology class today, the teacher sat down with me and we actually had a conversation for 15 minutes and he said it wasn't even about school. He said, that's never happened to me before. So little things like that, that mean so much to them that we as adults or people who have done well in school and had great experiences, maybe take for granted, but our kids take all of those as just miracle moments. I felt like there's a, a real push for students to really engage and do all these activities because there's so many to do and there's so many different kinds of things to do for different kinds of interests. You know, there's musical activities, there's sports activities, crafty activities. My favorite class I'm currently taking has to be metal smithing. We have silver, we have brass, we have copper. Part of the class is just figuring out how to be creative and take an assignment and really make it your own. I think student life at Foreman is a combination of all the other aspects at Foreman just because it is a boarding school. You live where you work. That has a lot of effect on how different things play into your life after school. Your classmates and your teammates make up your friends. But a lot of student life at Foreman comes down to just like, you know, when you find the time to hang out with people, connect with people, whether it be during meals, during your free time, working together during study hall, or, you know, going out on the weekends. All those things combine to really create the community and the culture in student life. The new student center, it offer so many things like when you first walk in you'll see these instruments floating in the air and as you continue to walk you'll see the jukeboxes playing music people are just laughing doing their own thing and from there you can make your way downstairs playing ping pong to playing pool like everything you could want it's right in that building I am a teacher in the Cognition and Learning Department. I teach three different classes, Metacognitive Strategies, Reading, and Executive Functioning Coaching. I would say our number one goal is to help students feel comfortable within the classroom and help them advocate for how they learn within content area classes. It's fully integrated into all the classes. All the teachers know every other teacher and they're all coordinated. So if I have issue with math, then my math tutor will know instantly and I can go to that teacher and get help for that specific topic. Everything is like a spider web. Everything, if you do something, it affects all your other classes. My first class here was with one student and the teacher. That was in the cognition and learning department. Seeing the same teacher every single day with that much attention like made a world of difference for me. It wasn't, we're gonna teach you this exact curriculum. It was more like, oh, I'm gonna teach to what you need to learn. I truly believe that he was the first teacher that made like more than just like classroom changes in me. He's always making sure my study habits and everything, like it, it's, it's the whole package. It's really, really nice knowing that you have a teacher looking out for you like that and watching your back. Having my own kids at a school where they were accepted for who they are and having so many adults in their life who really connected with them, saw their strengths and also helped them with areas of great difficulty. We're all unique, we all have some different background and I think that's the best part about coming here is that feeling, feeling yourself. I finally found who I was because I used to hide behind a shadow before I came here. I kind of was like, oh, I'm gonna be like my sister because you know, she's smart. But no, now I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be who I wanna be. I know now that I have so much more potential than I thought I did. I didn't think I was someone who would do well or succeed. I didn't feel smart. And now that I'm here and now that I'm pushing myself, I am so much more optimistic about my future. You know, now when I'm in the college process and I'm picking the colleges that I want to go to, the thought of I'm not going to college isn't a thing anymore. It's more of like, oh, I want to go to Boston University and, you know, my mom's like, you can do that. Your peers and your teachers, they just do so much to help you. I think it's because we have all those wonderful qualities. The teachers, they have great training, but they also have innate skills. They have the social skills of patience and kindness, and you know, they're not pushy, and they just really listen to the kids and follow them. And that's what I think we need to do, is just follow the kid, because they'll lead you to their own success. We really can change a kid's life.